Hello, welcome to this video. Today we are going to learn a special small application tool for annotation called Zernal. X O U R N A L Zernal. So instead of J, we had to put X. Zernal. It is an application for a note taking, sketching, a keeping a journal using a stylus on a tablet PCs or other formats. It is a a nice PDF annotation tool. It means we are not going to edit the PDF file. Instead, we can write notes on the existed PDF file. So that is why it is called, uh, it is known as a well PDF annotation tool. And it is very lightweight. So it, uh, uh, it is very lightweight and works great on the older system configure, older systems also. And the journal plus plus is a hand note taking software written in C++ with a target of flexibility, functionality and speed. It support pen pressure, example the Wacom tablet or stylus kind of gadgets. It supports for annotating PDFs, fill shape functionality. If you are uh, drawing a circle, automatically recognizes that it is a circle. So the perfect triangle or perfect, uh, perfect circle also can be drawn on its own. So this is one of the speciality, speciality of uh, this uh, tool. It's a PDF exporter. So whatever we are doing annotation that can be exported as a PDF file and we can import or export the P, uh, PNG files or JPG files to stylus button, mouse buttons, a slider with the page previews with the advanced page sorting, the PDF bookmarks and the layers. We can uh, make use of some layers also. We can, uh, it can be individually hidden or editing layers can be selected. Enhanced support for image insertion and eraser with the multiple configuration also available. That also one of the special, special part in this tool. Significantly reduce memory usage and code to detect memory. Elix compacted compared to journal. The latex support also we can associate. We can make use of the latex work in this and the tool. The bug reporting and auto saved option also available and auto backup tools also available in this tool. Customizable toolbar with the multiple configuration. Example to optimize toolbar for uh, uh, the portrait or is landscape. Then page template definitions and the shape drawing, line draw, circle, the rectangle and uh, the, the spy lines. So like that we can make use of this. Uh, the audio also we can uh, make use of this audio recording and the playback also possible in this tool and multi-language support like English and German or Italian, like we can make use of other languages. So as we can call this as a simple, great, um, very nice tool, it is very useful for the teachers as well as the students. Easily we can take notes. And uh, this is available in uh, the GitHub uh, website. I will give the link in the description just to go to the description and you can click that description so the software will be getting downloaded. So uh, I will show you how to download how we can go to that website and you can do that and the installation is very easy. Once you are downloading a zip file you will be downloading to your local drive and unzip the file and uh, so that you can find one only one exe file and uh, you can execute that exe, uh, execute that exe file. It will be asking some minimum configuration. Simply you can uh, you can click on yes, yes, yes and it will be getting downloaded. And you can go to the start button of your uh, system. I'm talking about the windows. You go to the start button and uh, uh, type X O U R N A L plus plus uh, the symbols plus plus. You, uh, so the app will be getting open. You double click it and you can simply work on that. Now I will explain that. I will show some demonstration. So easily we can make use of this tool to enrich your teaching learning process. See this is, so here we can notice in the browse bar. So this is, this is the link that you can find. So this is the link github.com slash journal app journal pp so journal pp and a journal pp releases see that is what we are noticing here github github.com journal pp and journal pp two times and releases so if you are giving this 
link here it comes to this side see here we can see it is coming to this side in this side this is external pp slash external pp we came to the releases page so you just come down you can see external plus plus 1.018 is a version you just come down here you can notice and various operating system versions see here if you are using uh, any ios other is windows you can take the correct appropriate the package see if you are using windows you can come to this one zen uh, zen app 1.018 hyphen windows.zip just click this that file will be getting downloaded file will be getting downloaded I can show the download see it is downloading the size also only 31 MB so after downloading so after downloading you just to go to the download page and you can notice the zip file unzip it and you can do that okay so right now I'm not doing that so this is a site this site is this is address I'll be giving the link in uh, description you just go and you can make use of that link okay now if you are coming to journal so this is already installed now I'm going to start button or directly you can come on plot you can type x journal see journal uh, you just start x o u r n a l automatically we are getting here journal plus plus you click that so this is the first screen of the app the journal screen here as usual in the top you can see the the default file name is an unsaved document journal plus plus you can see the right side so maximize and the closing this thing and the menu items file edit view navigation journal tools plugin help this, these are the uh, the traditional menus if we are coming down we can see the frequently using tools are available here and this one is for saving and uh, uh, the new journal we can by clicking that just like that you can start a new file so these are the uh, other uh, do and do other tools also available here here we can see this is the pen tool this one is the eraser in eraser also we can find uh, the different options we will see later this one is a highlighter and if you want to insert otherwise import any image we can make use of this icon and the text one so these are all for drawing any rectangles or any selection vertical or horizontal selection the index finger icon this is the pen sizes and these are the colors still some more colors also available so these are traditional things and this one is the fill options the bottom side also we can notice the page now how many pages this is by default it is the first page so this is a page one of one if you are start if you are adding one more page it will be one of two how many pages that is here that is a page of page numbers this one is left side browsing as well as right side browsing and here it is uh, the plus addition or subtraction so here what are the type of paper we want to start so this is the empty plain paper plain sheet or is a ruled one or is a ruled with the vertical lines what we have here that's a this one and this is a st uh, staves graph and dotted so these are other formats we can select any one and uh, so this also available here and here if you want to add one more pages you see now it is a second page of two if you are minus one of two because we by pressing one plus automatically one page will be added presently it is showing the page one okay and right side also you can see so these are the presentation screen you see just like a page preview print preview kind of right and so here also by using this browse bar browse button maximize minimize also possible and the right side is a complete screen is a toggling up and down right so here by taking the pen tool see i'm taking the pen tool and the eraser the and the size of the pen also marked here 
if you want to maximize the screen you can maximize little bit that is up to you here we can notice that i am writing something okay so if you are using any stylus pen otherwise any uh, digital pen then this script will be very smooth and right okay so very smooth to write so instead right now i am using mouse so that is why the characters the script is like this okay so here one more text also available text is a tool by clicking the text you can type you can write some notes and to start the reading the records so whatever you want to write you can write because the text tool has been selected now if the text colors you want to change you can click this you can change the color of the text okay right now i am taking the pen tool i can write for example after writing this i want to highlight you take the highlighter and see you highlight it okay highlight it you see i am writing some angle lines even though it is coming straight okay right so that is possible only because of this stroke recognizer for example you see i am writing a circle this a fill is there so instead if you take remove the fill option it won't fill okay right you see now it is not filling you click this now it will be filling so that is the option of this one i am removing this so that it won't fill right you see near circle but automatically it comes to a perfect circle because of this tool has been selected if i am unchecking that box it won't correct it if i am checking that you see again it will be making it as a perfect circle so that is the use of this option so accordingly you can make use of this for example if you are selecting this the line also will be perfect right so that is the use of this tool okay so uncheck i am not selecting anything and you can import the images and uh, the eraser also having different version this one is a delete stroke for example this stroke is this much length if i am selecting this then take the eraser select the eraser and select a delete stroke then if you are just clicking the complete stroke will be getting deleted rather if you are selecting wipe out white out see just it will be getting erased right you got the difference now once again i'm selecting this is a standard one it will be deleting like this right see you just notice the ruler the blue and the blue color the rulers are not wiped out but if you're selecting white out you see that rulers also will be getting removed isn't it so that is a difference in the eraser so you can explore one by one easily you'll be getting so many things here it will be very interesting if you are annotating so okay then here we are telling that this is a pdf annotator so based on that here we are doing this thing this is a page of one of two now see right now we are on the layer one okay so the first sheet second sheet this here it is showing the layer one so what are the background nothing is background you just select this nothing is background okay i am removing this by displaying you see the background only the paper sheet the blank screen only blank the paper sheet only is showing if i am unchecking it is nothing okay now see i am selecting first layer now it is we are getting the first layer contents if you are selecting the background then only you will be getting the screen you got it so this is the logic of the layers right now i want to save this see here if you are selecting this the complete presentation this is toggling by clicking once again it will be getting normal right any other things see here the colors yellow color so what you selected the pen so this is the yellow color instead if you are selecting some other colors see orange color it is orange color you got it 
So this is how that is working. Now we are going to take the save option. By selecting the save option, it will be asking where you want to save. I want to save it on desktop. On which folder? I want to and select uh, the CLS folder. Then what is the name of the file? I want to give it as one only. Okay, one only dot PDF. That is the format I want to save. You just click save. Now I am going to desktop. You will check whether it has been saved or not. You see one only. Right click and open with Adobe. I am selecting. See, it is showing this one, right? Journal app only, it is showing. So instead, because this has been stored as OPP, right? So OPP means this is a file. You see, XOPP. This is a file stored and we retrieved. The same file I want to save it as export as PDF. Export as PDF. Once again, I am going to the CLS here. You can see desktop, the CLS. In the CLS file, I want to save it as one only PDF. See previously one only OPP format. So this one is a PDF format. Let's save this. And now go to the folder. Just we'll verify that. And take the CLS. Here you can see one only PDF. Right click and open with Adobe. You can see the same picture here. Isn't it? So what I meant to say is the same thing we are exported into PDF form. So that is the export option, right? Now I want to annotate. I want to annotate. Just by clicking new, it will be deleted. It's a fresh file. Now I want to annotate the PDF. Where is the PDF file? Nowhere the PDF file. I have to select that. See, I have one file in the download. Uh, I will select one file for example. Okay, I'm taking this file. Where is that? I'm selecting. One Excel file. I stored on file for this purpose. Yeah, this one. I'm selecting this. Anyone can be taken. Right, so this is one exercise file. This is in the sample Excel file. And here I'm going to annotate. So annotate means you can write something. We are not going to edit the exist existed PDF file, rather we can write something. We can write something, okay? Okay, so here I'm changing the pen color, whatever you want to do, you can do that. And if you want to write any answers here, you can write this, uh, work it out otherwise. completed okay so this one completed next we want to see some other thing see this one we were saying that okay or else you want to write the answer here you select this you select this and come down you can write the answer is something okay so this i want to highlight that you take that pen highlight it right so that's it so this is the assignment let us assume this is an assignment you want to submit So this is the file you want to submit. I maximize this. Okay. So go to the file option. And export as PDF. What is the file name? I am telling answer. Answer file. Okay. Now I want to save it as a PDF file. You see here it is a PDF file. And just save. Now it has been 
saved right just to go to the folder desktop take the cls file uh, this is cls here you can see answer file right click open with uh, the pdf format now we can see that right so this is how we can export in the pdf for format also so this is journal uh, is a small simple app it will be very very helpful for teachers as well as the students for example you want to save some assignments to your students through the google docs otherwise google classroom you will be uploading some assignments right the students are free to download they can download the file for example you think that this is the excel file we uploaded in your google uh, the google classroom as an as assignment so they downloading using the journal app they can do the work on the pdf file itself they can save the file as the pdf format where they can export the output file in the pdf format they can once again upload back to the google classroom or you can use the google docs also you just think in the innovative way this is a tool very simple and very lively to use it will be really adding value to your teaching and learning thank you